Hello everyone, R. Jerome Harris from dbxadcopy.com. In this video, I'm going to give you a very quick uh, review and tutorial of uh, a pretty decent uh, DVD burner program called power to go and this is by Cyberlink. And you're looking at the graphical user interface and it does uh, quite a bit of stuff. It is a bundled piece of software, meaning that it does just then one thing. It uh, can do data disk copies, it can do operate on music disk, video disk, which we'll look at in a moment. This is our DVD burner. It can also uh, create uh, photographies onto a disk. System recovery, you can copy DVD to DVD, you can create ISO files, and you have a complement of disk utilities here that you can uh, play around with. So let's look at the uh, DVD burner mechanism on this thing, and uh, we're going to burn a DVD movie. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and select uh, the video disc icon. And keep in mind that uh, a DVD burner is a program that takes existing video files that you may have downloaded from the internet, that may come from your digital cameras or your camcorders, and it takes those video files and it burns them on either to a CD or to a DVD. Now in this demonstration, I'm going to burn a, a video file movie onto a blank DVD, hence DVD burning. So I'm going to select the uh, DVD video disc icon right here, and I am taken to another window. This is a very easy program to use. And so your next step is to go ahead and import that video file into this control panel. And to do that, you click on this plus symbol here, navigate to a location where you know you have a video file, and I have one right here. It's Rush Hour 2. I'll click on that and then select Open. And Power to Go imports that into the control panel here, as you see here. What I normally do is I, I change that name. So to do that, just click on that and then I'm going to type in Rush Hour 2. Pretty simple. And click outside the box there. All right, there's my title. Now up here you have some tabs. Uh, let me walk you through these. Uh, a lot of these you might not even use if you're copying a uh, video file or burning a video file onto a disk. But let's look at this. You have menu preferences. And this lets you select uh, a menu. And this pops up when you first um, insert the movie into your DVD player. Now these here are mostly for um, photo galleries and things like that. I don't typically use these for movies so what I'll do is I'll select uh, no menu so if you click on this right here then say apply to all pages then what you get is no menu I, I, I see what it is here it says rush hour because that's what I set into it right here so that's what I have I have a menu now this preferences tab if you click on that this basically tells you here okay what are you gonna be burning this uh, video file onto well I have a 4.7 gigabyte DV5 blank disk, but if you pull this down, you can copy it onto either 4.7, 8.5, or 1.4. And these are almost rarities nowadays, these 1.4s. Your regular ones are your, your single layered 4.7 gigabyte blank disk or 8.5 dual layered DV9 disk. And I'm going to go and burn mine onto a regular 4.7 gigabyte blank DV. So I'll select that. Under number two here, there's uh, several settings that you can you can modify here. The ones that are grayed out, you can't touch. My regular display is set to an aspect ratio of four to three, which I'll typically keep that as that. But if you pull this down, you can also set this to widescreen, which is an aspect ratio of 16 to nine. I'll leave mine at 4.3, and you have your video quality. I typically leave mine at the at default high quality setting, which is best quality. If you want to take a lower quality, you can do that. You can do a standard quality or a, a, a low P or long play quality. It's up to you. And you have your audio formats down here as far as encoding. Right now, it's set to Adobe Digital, which I like. Or you can see what else you have under here. You have the LPCM. Or depending on where you live in the world, you can select your TV format, NTSC or PAL. In my case, it would be NTSC. All right, now, uh, before I click on the burn button here, let's go back to the content menu here. And it's pretty simple. Now, I can't import other programs or other video files rather into this. So say if I have another video, 
that I know will fit on that disc, I just bring it in here and I can have one, two, three, four. And down here is going to tell me that how much space I have. So this movie right here, which is a partial movie, this down here is telling me how much space I have left. And since I do have a 4.7 gigabyte blank DVD inserted into my DVD burner, uh, I'm only using only 187 megabytes of that. So I can add some more stuff in there if I wanted to. But for the purposes of doing this uh, quick <laughs> tutorial for you, I'm not going to do that. Now, one other thing to your right, you can double click on this and get a quick preview of this right here. So if I double click on that right there, all right, I can take a look at the uh, what the movie is going to look like once it uh, is burned onto a DVD. I'm not going to stop that. All right, so now that we're ready, the next step is to go ahead and click the uh, burn button. Now, again, you're given the option here to change the volume, so I'm going to type in Rush Hour 2. Your final output is going to be a burnt to disk, number of copies 1. Now, I like this feature here because let's say if I want to burn um, three copies of this movie to distribute to friends or my kids. Well, I can select, say, three, for example, and this program will go ahead and burn the first one and eject the first one and prompt me to insert the second blank DVD, burn that, eject the second DVD, and then prompt me to insert the third, and then it will go ahead and burn that one. Once you're satisfied with all these settings, then go ahead and click the Start Burning button here. And now we're seeing uh, Power to Go uh, go through the process of uh, burning that uh, video file to a blank DVD. Okay, uh, at this point, uh, Cyberlink's power to go has completed the burning process to the DVD and it's telling you that. So you can click the OK button here to dismiss it and you're done. And I have just reviewed for you Power to Go by Cyberlink. Thank you for listening.